yo, yo, man. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Welcome, barbecueettes and barbecuers. Um, we definitely going to do, you know, it's Memorial Day uh, weekend. Uh, it's Sunday. I'm definitely not going to cook on Monday because, you know, I'm asleep because I got to go to work. But uh, today, like I said, Memorial Day, I'm going to cook some ribs. I'm going to cook chicken, uh, maybe some hamburgers and hot dogs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my Kamado grill out. I'm going to pull out my Weber. I'll put them out on the, uh, on the pavers for the first time. I might just put them in the grass out there. Um, but just to get a feel for how my new uh, patio going to look, um, we'll see what happens. So like I said, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to pull these out, uh, get them all set up, and then we'll be back, y'all. Show you what we're doing. All right, y'all, we back, man. The grills are up to temp. Um, I let them run for, I put my chimney, uh, I let my chimney for about 15 minutes. And just let it burn until the flame shoots up in the air. And then I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off because I'm about to put this, uh, the ribs on here. I'm putting two slabs. One St. Louis and one uh, baby back. I didn't cut them, I bought them just like that from the store because it was last minute. My baby girl came in town for FAMU. Shout out to her. She going to school to be a doctor. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, got chicken here and ribs over here. Actually, let me swap these because they're going on different grills. Like I said, we got the double tango going today. I didn't want to pull out the Shirley Fab just because uh, I didn't really feel like it was enough meat and that's too much hassle right now. Uh, but like I said, we'll talk about that too in a little bit. Without further ado, I'm gonna let y'all look at these ribs. I'm trying a new season that I saw in the store. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna see what they do. I will tell you this, this is a tip. Don't do like me and try new seasoning on the day you're supposed to be cooking for people. That's not the day you want to find out that your seasoning ain't good, but you know, I know how to tweak some things. Baby back. I'll let you see a little close up here in a minute. And a St. Louis. Yeah. Curl that up. Leave it up for a minute, let the heat catch up a little bit. Because once I close that lid, you know, cold meat, and that's what I did. Uh, just word to the wise. Like when you take meat out of the refrigerator, let it sit for about 15 minutes so it comes almost to room temperature. That way you keep the temperature of your grill. But I want my grill to come down a little bit to about two something. It's at 300 right now. So once I close the lid, it's going to drop a little bit because of the cold coldness in the meat. So just keep that in mind. Got some thighs on him. Some big thighs, actually. Checking on my neighbor. See, she got a little gas grill over there. We'll talk to her about that. Well, I got plenty of room over there. We'll get a couple more thighs. Thighs for the guys. Like I said, I'm going to leave them open. And let it do what it do. Let me give y'all a close-up, and it will come back. In a little while, y'all. Let you see. And I'll show you the season I was using on these. Yeah. Y'all tell me, comment below if you used this before. Of course, you know that's that cracked chicken seasoning. All right. We'll see y'all in a bit, y'all. All right, y'all. We're at the uh, one hour mark. I'm about to look and see what the ribs and the chicken doing. Like I said, the chicken should only be on there about an hour, hour and a half. Maybe hour 45, depending on how crispy I want the uh, skin to be. I got my uh, handy dandy uh, sprayer, Home Depot, in the barbecue section. Check that out. All right, let's see what this thing looking like, y'all. Hey, sorry about that, y'all. Let me give you a close up. Uh, my my alarm went off. Yeah, yeah. Get a good spread. Baby backs to St. Louis. Boy got skills, y'all. Put this lid back on it. There you go. Alright, let's see what this chicken looking like. Hopefully it ain't uh ain't let my temps get out of control because I see a little smoke. Woo boy. Your boy ain't joking around here. It's gonna take me a little long because this thing's sitting about 225, so it's probably gonna take me another uh, another hour. 
It's all good though. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Spritz these things up real quick. Hold that lid and let it do what it do. We ain't in no rush, y'all. We ain't in no rush. Oh, let me back this up for a minute. Talk for a quick second. I know I can talk forever. But yeah, I was talking about my uh, my daughter, my baby girl. She uh, came home from uh, FAMU down in Tallahassee. That's the uh, same city as Florida State, for those that don't know what FAMU is. Um, yeah, she go to school to be a doctor. She's a junior right now. I'm super proud of her, man. I needed to hurry up and finish so I can stop working. Nah, let me stop. Nah, I support in everything she does, man. So, good luck, baby. Baby girl, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I salute you. Um, and you know I support you 100%. Anyway, I tried to get on camera, and uh, she wasn't trying to hit none of that. So, maybe, maybe, if we lucky, I'll get on camera. Um, if not, it is what it is. But uh, other than that, man, we just barbecuing, man, Memorial Day. Shout out to all the vets. Um, I see y'all still rocking my Navy shirt right here. For those that didn't know, read the back. Yep. I wrote exams for the Navy, y'all. Yeah, so I'm, I'm involved with not just my own personal growth, but growing other people too, man. So if you took the test and you made rank, you promoted I might have had something to do with that. So, uh, uh, shout out to them guys too. The results just came out too, ironically, uh, right before this weekend. So, shout out to all, everybody that got promoted. Uh, other than that, man, I'm chilling. I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I'll talk about that maybe next week. Um, yep, going somewhere again. That's what I do. Uh, sucks, but pays bills. Uh, and allows me to do what I do. So, bear with me, y'all. Like I said, another hour. Uh, I might wrap those. I'm going to leave them ribs on there for three hours and see what they look like. I don't know if I'm going to wrap them just because they they the smaller cut. We'll see. Um, the chicken should be done in another hour. And uh, we'll come back in an hour, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's take a look at these ribs. See what they look like. Y'all close up. I'm gonna have to move them a little bit. Yeah, get them away from that heat a little bit. Other than that, they doing what they supposed to do. Make sure the camera's set up. Then I'm gonna show y'all this chicken. close up with this. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna be back with the final product on these. I'm gonna put some wings, burgers, and dogs on. Uh, just show y'all maybe five, 10 second glimpse of those. And then we'll talk after the finished product, y'all. Yeah, boy. Round two coming up. Time to take everything in, y'all. See you on the inside. All right, everybody. We back, man. This your boy, Mr. B. We're in the kitchen. Let me give you a close-up of the ribs, hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken, chicken wings. Yeah. Yeah, with barbecue sauce on them. These light-colored with a different seasoning. Ribs, yeah. Yeah, I wrapped the ribs in uh, aluminum foil. 
As you can see the bone, I could probably pull the bone out. Yeah. Anyway, let me slide this back so we can talk and send you on your way. Um, this is an easy cook, man. I started at, uh, actually about five hours ago. And uh, like I said, it was just a spur of the moment thing. Baby girl came in town, so you know, she, she liked chicken and I always promised her chicken, so this was the time to do it. But anyway, uh, she can take that with her when she goes back, uh, doing great things out there. Uh, but more importantly, today is all about all of the Americans that uh, gave their life for this country. You know, people get it screwed with uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Veterans Day is for people like me. I'm a veteran, right? Anybody that does, I forget what it is, six months in the military, you become a veteran automatically. Whatever, right? But this ain't your day. This is for the people that have passed away serving their country, doing great things so that we can breathe, eat, and sleep. So I applaud them. I appreciate their efforts for me to be able to be here, for y'all to be able to see me here, and that type of thing. So, uh, oh, anyway, um, the seasons I use, let me get a close up. Gourmet Burger, and this new stuff I found, uh, shout out to my boy Smitty, you know, he down right now at the count, I'll let him tell you more about that, but uh, Memphis style barbecue, Smitty got him a smoker, Shirley Fab, matter of fact, we might do a video on that before I disappear for a little bit, um, yeah, so we might fire that up just to see what it do, and uh, just to get some smoke in it, I don't know, depending on the timing, but appreciate y'all watching, man, like I said, salute to everybody that's gone before us as far as uh military members um i applaud you even though you probably can't hear me i applaud you um and thanks for everything you did for us anyway this is your boy mr b from backyard barbecue just doing up a little something you know what i'm saying and i know i owed y'all a video last week but got caught up in some things work etc y'all know how that is but here i am giving it back to you anyway this your boy don't forget to like comment subscribe go to my website and share them videos, y'all. I'll let your boy.